So as the title states, we're doing cheesy scotch eggs. We've done eggs before, as you know, scotch eggs. Uh, we did some spicy ones. Now we're doing cheesy ones. First job, eggs into boiling water. And then I'm going to keep cooking these for six or seven minutes. Hopefully the middle will still be runny then. And we've got two white and we've got two brown. Now I'm going to cook these but uh, five to six minutes as I said and we'll be back show you the rest of the ingredients and what gave me the idea for this. See you in a moment. next stage now you've seen this as I say before when we did it with the spicy ones but we did a recipe a few weeks back now and it was twiglet covered chicken yeah if you not check that out and you like twiglets you need to check it out because I'm telling you they were banging and we had them two nights on the trot I made them twice in two nights because they were that good and I thought do you know what? Other snacks you might still have knocking about after Christmas, or if not, you can buy in the pound shop. And I could use them and do scotch eggs. I'm sure I could. So we're going to do cheesy ones. Now I'm using sausages. Heck. Oh, heck. Heck. Pork sausages, 97% pork. And I've just been sat here, or stood here rather. Trying to get the skins off, and I can't find any. I don't think there's any skins on them. So, well, they weren't on that one anyway. No, I can't see any skins. Look, look. No skin on them. So, if you can get them out of your sim bin, get them. Or you can use any sausages, but you do need to take the skin off. So you can munge it up. So, in there, enough waffling. We've got these. I'm going to break these up, all six of them. Then I'm going to show you what I'm adding to them. Right, well, hopefully you can't hear the eggs bubbling away because they're still going away in the saucepan. Next, we are going to add to this. It's munged up. We're going to add some salt. Down to your own preference how much because some like it more salty, some like it less. Then, garlic granules. Again, down to your own preference. I'm putting half a teaspoon. Oregano, dried. Could use fresh if you want. Half a teaspoon of that. Smoked paprika, oh, love it. Half a teaspoon of that, and that's it. I'm going to munge it up back in the mouth. So, munging done. Now, as I say, we've got the video up with the spicy ones. The difference with these is I'm giving them a go in the air fryer, and I'm hoping it's going to work. As well as the ingredients I put in there, you can add chilies if you want some fresh chilies, make sure they're really finely chopped, or chili powder. I was going to put some onion in which again has to be really finely chopped or even grated in there just so that it's not any big chunks that are going to break the sausage meat up as it cooks because it does shrink a bit so world's your limit put what you want in there but I'm doing cheesy ones now the only thing I'm going to add to it is that just a light sprinkling of mature cheddar just add a bit more to that cheesy flavour if you've not got an air fryer you should be able to deep fry these if you do try that, let us know how they turned out. These might not work yet in the air fryer, I don't know, but it just seems something that's easy because we'll bang them in for like 20 minutes, job done. So all that's left now is wait for these eggs to cool. I'm gonna give this a quick munging again, get all this cheese mixed in with this. And then it's a usual case of how you do things like this with breadcrumbs anyway. Uh, roll the eggs in the flour. I'm gonna show it you. Uh, in the egg wash and then into the coating. Now, once I've munged this, I'll show you what the coating's gonna be. That's munged up. So what am I using as breadcrumbs? We're using them. Everybody has them left over after Christmas and even if you've not got any left over after Christmas, you can get them in the power shop. You can get salt and vinegar flavour now, they're nice. And you can get cheese and onion, I think, or cheese and chives, they're nice. And they would work on this, but I'm using the cheese ones. So I'm gonna whack these in the trusty old pestle and mortar 
or mortar and pestle. You say tomato, I say tomato, yeah, you know, you know the one. So I'm gonna blitz these off. If my voice does sound a bit iffy, by the way, I've still got a bit of a chest cold. So if I sound all deep and husky, I'm not trying to sound like somebody that's deep and husky. Can't think of anyone. Right, let's blitz them. All right, they're done. Now you could do these in a blitzer, a blender, a processor, but there is some natural oils in these sort of snacks and sometimes if you use them in a blender, it turns into a paste before you know it. So I find you can control it more with one of these. I know they're not cheap to get a decent one, but they are worth it, even if you're doing your own spices as well. So that's all munched up. The breadcrumbs or the cheesy breadcrumb thingy bobs are done. First job now then is we take some of the sausage meat, about that size to start with, flatten it. Just like that. Just like that. Egg in the middle, roll it around, then you'll have some idea once you've squeezed it if you've got enough. So just keep playing it around. And if it don't look like you've got enough, just grab another bit and then just mould it all, munge it all in together. Because now I was going to see it, it's a scotch egg, it's covered in breadcrumbs. Now I can see from that, I ain't going to have enough there, look. So as I said, you don't pan it, you just get a bit more. Just get a bit more like that, flatten it, and then carry on moulding. It's cooking. It has to be fun. Yeah, fun playing with things like this. You get all them that think the chefs and they, they all look, this is perfect. You're going to do this. It's going to be perfect. It never is normally. And they've done about 16 takes just to get that one perfect bit. We're spicing easy. We do our own cooking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, I'll do the rest. So there's your four done. Now, one thing I didn't say is I use sausages rather than sausage meat that you buy in the blocks because that tends to have higher fat content and if you do i did try air frying one lot and it just put too much fat out everything fell off so i'm hoping these are going to work with higher percentage of meat in there and it's better for you anyway so next stage roll each one in flour is the next stage and while you're doing this it's a good idea to just give them a slight squeeze as well to make sure it's all munged up nicely around the egg just like that and then move on to dipping them in the eggs so we dip it in the egg wash or beaten egg and then into our breadcrumbs or cheesy biscuit thingies and we'll do it like this Roll it around and then from there onto there, roll it around. And there you have one cheesy scotch egg. Make sure it's covered in it. Ready to go in the air fryer. I think air frying is probably the way to go with this or oven might work, but frying this lot will come off. But there's one done. I did the rest and onto the air fryer. So there you have it, four cheesy Scotch eggs. Now going in the air fryer, if they fit. Could have put them on the bottom of the basket, but they'll cook okay on the top. On goes the lid. On air fry. And I think we'll go with 12 minutes for a start. And then we can always up it if they're not quite done. Now once that's up to temperature, it will start cooking. And we'll see you once the 12 minutes are up to see if they're cooked. Right, done. 12 minutes in the air fryer. Now, they have started to break slightly. But I think that's because it's using these biscuits which are going to have a bit of oil in them. And I don't think the air fryer cooks them as quick as deep frying them. This is normally do with a scotch egg. So 
because it's cooking slower, the meat's shrinking slower and it gradually pulls some of them apart. I don't know, I might be wrong. So what we need to do now is get rid of three of these and then we'll cut one open. There you have it. Pretty picture first. Yeah. You know. Alright, let's get rid of these ones. Now, let's cut this one up and let's see what it tastes like. Overkill on the knife, I know, but the middle of the eggs have gone hard, but it doesn't really matter about that. Who cares? As long as it tastes nice. Right, cheesy scotch egg. With those as breadcrumbs. Smells nice. Oh my word. That's outstanding. That is really, really cheesy. Not sickly, but oh, that cheese flavour is coming through. They're awesome, they really are. Real good cheese flavour. And then you've got these crushed up for your breadcrumbs, which again, more cheesiness, cheese savouries. you got a bit of garlic, smoked paprika coming through. It's, oh, I tell you, it's worth trying it. Try deep frying them and let us know if it works. Or, if you don't want to deep fry and you've not got an air fryer, do as I've done and then light spray with oil, put them in the oven and see how that works out and let us know again. Because I like to know if you're trying these and how they turn out. This is just, ugh. Mm -hmm. You need to try this, you really do. If you only ever buy supermarket scotch eggs and you know, it's yucky meat, these are good quality sausages. The tasteless orange breadcrumbs you get home, you bite into it, and you think, Ugh, disappointed now, fancy the scotch egg. Do these, you'll love them. Mm. <laughs> She's going to have me making these again. Let us know what you think to them. Are you going to try it? Do you like the looks of it? I tell you, it works. That cheesiness on them. Oh. If you like the video, thumbs up as always. Subscribe if you're not. It's free, share the channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ta for now.